The first runner-up, Miss Harris County, Lisa Patino. The new Miss Texas, Miss Galveston County, Chelsea Smith. Well, I was actually raised by my grandparents, and probably the most important thing they ever taught me was to be proud of my biracial background. Next, we have Miss Texas. Chelsea Smith, 21 years old, elementary education major from Houston, also interested in motivational speaking. Now, it's interesting to me, when you won the Miss Texas title, the press referred to you as an African-American, and you took uh, umbrage to that. What was that about? Well, I am biracial, and I'm half black, half white, yeah. and even though I was so proud to be acknowledged as African-American, I also have another side to my family, and I really would have felt bad, and I know they really would have felt bad if I would have left them out, because it was so important, because actually the Caucasian side raised me, and I really need to recognize them. And so you just want to make sure that the distinction is still there? Exactly, yeah. yes. Now, it says that you're also a motivational speaker. Who do you speak to? I speak to a lot of youth, a lot of inner city youth, actually. And I speak a lot about, on a lot of topics of biracial, being biracial, um, just racism topics, and just having fun in school, and just being yourself and being proud of who you are. You just go, like, elementary schools? Elementary school, junior high, and high school level. What's the most responsive audience? Junior high. They love you. Actually, because elementary school, they're kind of getting into um, a lot of topics that I'm talking about. Yeah. And junior high, everybody's starting to kind of identify with each other and f find out what peer group they want to be with. Right, right. Okay, great. Thank you, Chelsea Smith. Miss Texas. Step over there. The judges will lock in their votes. Miss Texas. Texas, Chelsea Smith. All right, digging deep, and Chelsea comes up with judge number ten. That is you, Jim Jeff Coat. Miss Texas, there's a renewed interest recently in passing a constitutional amendment to allow school prayer. Do you think that's a good idea? Well, I am very religious myself, and I am a Christian, and I do believe that if you are religious yourself and you would like to pray in school, you should be allowed that, that choice. Taking it out fully, I think, is wrong, but you still should be allowed that choice. Okay, Chelsea, stay right there, please. Judges locking in their votes. Thanks, Miss Texas. Now, Mr. we bring out Miss Texas, Chelsea Smith. Chelsea, here's the question. Recently, Hillary Clinton consulted a group of female journalists about changing her image. If you were her advisor, what would you suggest that she do? 
I would tell her not to change her image, actually. Um, I believe very strongly in who I am, and I've seen 50 ladies tonight who believe very strongly in who they are, and I really think that Hillary Clinton wouldn't have made it as far as she has if she wouldn't have been herself. So I really, truly think she should stay exactly the way she is. All right, Chelsea, thank you. Right over here, and finally, and then there were two. Wow. Yes. Now, as I'm about to reveal the name of the first runner-up and the new Miss USA, we have to remind you about the importance of the first runner-up. Very That's important right. job. That's right. You see, because if Miss USA can't complete her reign for any reason, and of course, there is the possibility that she could be crowned the new Miss Universe on right. May 12th in Namibia, in Southern Africa, <laughs> then that means that our first runner-up will become the brand new Miss USA. All right. Here we go. Ladies, you ready? Take a deep breath. This is it. The first runner-up is Miss New York, say the vote for it. Chelsea Smith, you are the new Miss USA. Live from exotic Namibia, the 1995 Miss Universe pageant with your host, USA. Celebrating 75 years of the women's right to vote, from the USA, I am Chelsea Smith. What a final spot. One last chance to become Miss Universe 1995, and that chance belongs to Miss USA, Chelsea Smith. Wow, now the last time an American won Miss Universe was back in 1980, but a lot of people think Chelsea has a very good chance tonight. And Miss USA. I do work out and try to eat right. To me, a woman's body is a major part of her femininity. It deserves to be cared for and celebrated. Miss USA. Thanks, Arlene. Next up is Miss USA, Chelsea Smith. Go ahead, reach in there, Chelsea, and come up with a judge. It's judge number six. That is Phil Gallo. Phil, your question. Do you think the world would be a better place if we just had one world government and no separate countries? No, I don't believe so at all. I think a lot of the separate countries have their own cultures, their own backgrounds, and even though all the governments may not be perfect, I think that the unity of, of each of the nations is very important. Um, I've met a lot of wonderful ladies from different countries, and I couldn't see them all living in one country. I think each of them are very unique and special in their own way. All right, Chelsea, stay right where you are. Miss India had is if you had the power to do anything you wished to improve the status of women in your country what would you do well actually I think they've they have come a long way so far um, I do wish that people would look at women as just as they look at all men it just equally in power I know a lot of women that can do anything that they choose and I am one of those women and there are 81 80 of these women that are here today so I think that women are doing very well but I'd like to see people treat them as they should Okay, Miss USA, step right over here. Yeah, Join us. We're about to reveal the name of the first runner-up in the new Miss Universe. Let me remind you of the importance of the first runner-up. You do it, That's Jason. right, because, you see, if Miss Universe can't complete her reign for any reason at all, that means that the first runner-up will then become the new Miss Universe. Here we are, ladies. The first runner-up is Miss India Chelsea Smith. You are the new Miss Universe. Congratulations! Can you believe it? The cash awards, the gifts are yours. You take your place in a very special sisterhood. And we congratulate you and all the delegates for being such beautiful examples of women in the 90s. And now, 
The stage is yours, Miss Universe, Chelsea Smith. Miss Universe 1995.